Welcome back to Ready, Set, Sold. I am your host, Brian Bo. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Do really appreciate it. Again, kind of recapping what we talked about, we talked with Joe Harness, president of Harness Insurance, a person who has 40 years of experience, that's not counting his staff and his team behind him, that quite frankly knows their stuff. They really do. They know they know the insurance inside and out business, and they can be a great asset to contact. We talked about really the spring and sometimes the flooding that may occur and what you can do by making sure you have that coverage. If your house is going on the market or not going on the market, but if it's going on the market, the last thing you want to have is a flood, and it doesn't happen often, but a sewer backup or something along those lines. If it does, you want to make sure you have that coverage, that if something goes amiss, that you have the monies while the house is on the market versus having to try and pay for it while you're trying to sell the house. That's not usually a good combination. The other thing is is the second segment we talked about roofs and the importance of roofs. If basically, if it gets hail, call your insurance company. Call someone. Don't wait. It doesn't have to leak to have damage to it. So you want to get that taken care of, and especially if you're selling your house now. I mean, that becomes even more imperative if something goes wrong. Also talked about the idea of storms coming in, winds blowing. It doesn't have to be a tornado, but there are things out there, trampolines and that, that can cause some havoc. Maybe not only, maybe not your house, maybe you don't have them, but your next door neighbor does, so that's important too. And the last thing we talked about, Joe, was this, the idea of replacement value and the importance of understanding replacement value isn't market value and making sure you're talking with a trusted professional in insurance and getting the coverage that you need. With that said, we also talked about the spring market, and I'm probably going to continue on to the spring market for the next few weeks because it is just so, so important. I cannot stress to you enough. If your house has not been on the market, or maybe you pulled it off the market, I should say, uh, even last two months, three months, it's time to consider getting it back on the market, talking to a professional. The tip of the week is that even with this hot, mar- hot market, you still want to do the things that you need to do to get the updates because that's just going to even propel your house even to new levels. And so top dollars can be, you know, quite frankly, when you start talking these full price offers, these are houses that have really done a little bit, sometimes a little bit more of updates, done the right things. They've, they've either used the book or they've gotten information from their agent, either way, but they've had some great success. So even in a hot market, that does not mean, and this is the tip that I really want to stress, it doesn't mean that, well, anything goes. It doesn't mean that your house won't sell if you don't have these things because of the market. However, you're probably not going to have the speed, and I can pretty well guarantee you, you're not going to get the prices you could have if you had done the updates, if you had done the simple things uh, as far as staging. All of this is in the book. Make sure you pick up the book. So again, don't don't forget that if you are looking to sell your house, get the book. Still stay with the formula. It works in any market. In this market, it works even better when you have a hot one. I'm your host, Brian Vogt. Thanks so much for joining us this week. We'll be back, we'll be back next week. Listen to Ready, Set, Sold. Have a great one.